Hey knitters, it's Question Friday, and I'm going to answer a bunch of your questions. Before I start, I just want to apologize for my appearance. I'm tired. I got up really early this morning, and I was in a car for like five hours today, and so I'm going to make this video, and then I'm going to get through it. Alright, so go! If you were on a deserted island and could grab only one book before the ship sank, which would you take? Peanut butter or jelly? Jelly. What units are awesome measured in? I'm going to pull a leaf out of the Five Awesome Guys book and say Jenks. What is your favorite play that you've ever been in? By far my favorite play that I've ever been in was called Radio TBS by... Who's it by? I have a program right here. Mark L. Smith. Neon Pink or Neon Orange? Neon Pink. What's your favorite band? I hate questions like this because I really have no idea. Read, I don't know. I listen to a lot of music. It's I don't have I don't like worship one particular group of uh, no. Ravelry or YouTube? Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to say YouTube because I just I as much as I love the patterns on Ravelry, I just think that YouTube has a lot more entertainment value. Movies or TV? TV. If you saw a magical Leo Pluridon, what would you do? I'd probably say, oh my god, that's a magical Leo Pluridon. Sorry, I just didn't, did I say that right? And um, then I'd probably take a picture of it. How old were you when you started to knit? How hard did you find it, and who taught you? I was about 18, I think, 18. And I taught myself from the internet. And um, I think I picked it up pretty easily. I mean, it was definitely a little challenging at first, but with practice I got better. What great and awesome thing should we do with the 5AK this year? Um, I think it would be really great and awesome if we had five people every day and, um, you know, just really entertained the subscribers and got a lot of them and and were awesome. What do you, what do you think, subscribers? What great and awesome thing should, should the five awesome knitters do this year? I'll leave that question to you. Taking any cool classes this semester? Um, I don't know if they're cool. I'm taking some classes that are going to actually apply to my major and not just like prereqs this semester. So I'm definitely looking forward to those. I'm taking a issues in education and a um, like teaching science to children kind of class. So those should be interesting. If you could be anyone else for one day, who would it be? Um, Harry Potter? Am I allowed to be a fictional person? I'd want to be Harry Potter. <laughs> Did you get crunk tonight? Not feeling very crunk tonight, no. Unless you meant on New Year's, which is when you ask that question. And I did have one drink, but I, I don't think I got crunk. Who is your favorite big name YouTuber? John and Hank are big name YouTubers, right? John and Hank. If you could knit with only one yarn for the rest of your life, what would you choose? You guys are probably going to laugh at me, but I'd probably just use like Lion's Pride, Red Heart Saver Acrylic. I know that that's not like the best yarn and it's really cheap, but it's like the perfect yarn for making mother bears and I probably, if <laughs> if I could only use that yarn, I'd probably only make mother bears. What's your favorite song at this exact point in time? A Guilty Pleasure. It is Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. I love that song and I hate myself for loving it so much. Where is Clara? You know, we're not exactly sure. Um, we think... She might be somewhere with Waldo and Carmen San Diego, but um, I can call her right now and see if she answers. Hold on, let me get my phone. Okay, phone. See, Hello. Hey, Clara. Yeah. This is Kayla from the Five Awesome Knitters. Hi. Hi. We were wondering why you haven't made a video in so long. Okay, well, we were just making sure you weren't dead. <laughs> no, I'm not dead. We've been saying in our videos that we were going to, like, bother you if you didn't make a video, so. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I get home and then my whole schedule's always thrown off because I work Tuesday and Saturday. So my work Friday Making a Question Friday video, I'm actually editing it in just a minute. Uh -huh. And, um, so if you, like, needed to make a video, like, on Saturday, or if you want to make a video on the weekends, you can do that, you know. I actually um, have Sunday and Monday off. I forgot to do Sunday. 
Okay. Yeah, if you want. I mean, we, we'd be glad to have you. We, we're not really the five awesome knitters anymore, so we just, <laughs> we're like the three awesome knitters. Okay. Cool. Five okay. Hour <laughs> five hour long video. <laughs> well, like one of the, I was making the question video, the the, and one of the questions is where is Clara, and so I was like, I don't really know where Clara is. <laughs> Clara totally didn't know that she was being recorded, and I'm sorry, Clara. Um, I'm I edited our conversation down because we talked for like ten minutes, and obviously I don't want this video to be super long, so um, yeah. She's busy, she's working, she's a newlywed, she's really sorry, she's kind of embarrassed at this point that she hasn't made a video in so long, but um, she's gonna make a video on Sunday, she promised me. What do you think of nifty knitters? Hope what you mean by nifty knitters are looms, um, because I don't really know what else they would be. Um, I think they're pretty much only good for making hats. I had a rectangle one, and I tried to make a baby blanket out of it, and it didn't work very well. Um, but I like the round ones for making, for making hats, and I also, um, just hung up three of them today as wall decorations. Check it out. Can you see? I can't see. And this is a very detailed question that I've saved for last. I just started to knit, and I have a noob question for you. Why do my rows always get bigger when I knit? I start with 35 stitches, and after two or three rows, I always have 37 or 38 stitches. Sorry it's white, I don't know if you'll be able to see. This is all that I had on hand right now. What I think you're doing is when you knit a stitch, you stick it in, you pull it around, and then you pull this off right here, this little dude. I don't think you're doing that. I, I taught a friend how to knit once and they would knit the stitch and then leave this on and then knit into it again. And that might be what you're doing. So I think I think that's what you're doing. Instead of pulling the stitch off, you're leaving it on and then knitting into it again. And that would increase your stitches. And that's a very common new uh, knitter thing to do. So be on the lookout for that. And if if it's not that, um, we'll figure it out. Okay? I hope you guys all enjoyed my Question Friday video. Sorry it was up so late. I'm probably going to go to bed here in the next few minutes. I'm very tired. I don't know if you guys wanted to do that challenge Friday dice thing that I had mentioned. Um, I'm not going to roll the dice because I don't know if you guys want to do it. But um, I will just straight up challenge Jenny or Danny, whichever one of you wants to, to make a video on Friday. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so I will see Jenny on Monday and I hope everyone has a good weekend.